Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at Peter Molnar and Mike Sommerfeld, and ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, this is actually part of your Fan Request Friday lineup, and this matchup here, another apology, it's uh, pretty difficult to compare these guys considering there's not all of the eight mandatories, they're classic physique division competitors, so... This is a part of a tournament, and most of the guys are open-class competitors, so I'm basically going to judge this one accordingly. And I guess this is the front double, the front single. And Sommerfeld looks fantastic as far as a classic physique division competitor is concerned, but when you look at Peter Molnar, look at the condition the guy is in. So dry, so dry. Looks like a 212 athlete. And another thing. I don't know how tall Sommerfeld is. I thought he was tall, but he's not that tall. Now, this is the next pose, I guess. I guess this is the front double. And Sommerfeld wasn't really hitting. He was in the lineups, but those pitchers were so blurry. He couldn't see anything. I mean, these ones here, a lot better. As far as the clarity, you can see conditioning. Sommerfeld's conditioning is good. His wheels are they're in. I mean, the guy's fantastic. Peter Molnar, he, he looks like a 212 athlete as far as the conditioning is concerned. And that's the thing. Sommerfeld used to be 212. So he's obviously not that tall. Turn to the side. And what a side chest for Sommerfeld. The way he is hitting this, I mean, his forearm could be down just slightly. But other than that, this is maybe one of the best side chests you're going to see. For modern day uh, competitors, as far as the stance, everything. Now, Peter Molnar, like I said, height, sizing these guys a little bit difficult. I think Peter's about 5'6, five, 5'6 six, five six inches. And Sommerfeld, not that much taller. I thought he was, but, you know, doing some sleuthing around, he, he, he's not that tall. But he stands tall. He stands a whole lot taller than Molnar. You can see that. So, take your pick, guys. I mean, Outstanding shape, size, versus conditioning for Peter Molnar. I mean, look at the size of his arms. Fantastic. But, I don't know. I kind of like uh, Sommerfeld better. Side tricep. And this is the same thing. Overall shape, wheels, chest of Sommerfeld. Versus just ripped, sheer ripped to shreds gorilla muscle for Peter Molnar. Ooh, Peter snaps a more to spec side tricep and you gotta think guys you gotta think if this is a the winner of this one is going into the the finals uh, against a class or against an open class competitor you're gonna think peter molnar is probably gonna be edging out a win so far and considering we only have a couple of shots left namely this rear double by and this is the only back shot. I think this is really the the last comparison we have. Look at the glutes on Sommerfeld. Little bit stringy, I have to say, in the comparison, as far as his wheels are concerned. I gotta say, from the front, he looked tremendous. He looked like he had a, a massive set of wheels. But here from behind, Peter Molnar. Looks like he has a major edge, as far as that's concerned. But look at those glutes. Look at the glutes on, uh, on Mike Sommerfeld. But the back doesn't relate as much to that. It looks like Peter Molnar's back's a little bit harder, a little bit grainier. Still, though, this matchup, guys, might be giving uh, Peter Molnar a political edge. Let's face it, I'm a huge fan of his. But Sommerfeld is surprising me. And this is a controversial matchup. One has a rear lat, one has a front lat. They didn't have one to match for each other, so it's kind of disappointing in that sense. Disappointing in that sense. I mean, obviously you can't judge this one. Both tremendous athletes, and both deserve the win here, guys. But this is a, a tournament-style bracket, and I am going to try to get the, the finals in before your you pick Tuesday anyway. So we'll try to get it in today. Here's your winner, Peter Molnar, and he will be going against the uh, winner of Kevin Lavroni and Brandon Curry. 
what a match that's a matchup that's going to be. So Peter Molnar will have his hands full for sure. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, guys, this is the original Fan Request Friday matchup right here. So this is the one if you want to nail your request. It has to be this video. It has to be this video, and it has to be the very first request. Remember that. Have a great day, guys.